So I just have a collective haul for you guys, just stuff that I've picked up in the last three, four days, and um, it's enough to haul. So I'm going. First thing is I just went to Walmart, and the only reason I went there is because I wanted to see if they were still making the fire alarm lipstick from Hard Candy. This is my older one that I'm just like in love with because I wanted to get a backup, and they are. So I got a backup of that. It's just a really great uh, pinky nude color. I'm wearing it right now, but it looks way more death-like than it does in person, so uh, CVS, and got a couple things. Um, I'm gonna start with these. Um, I've heard a lot about these. Now, I have a history of skin cancer in my family. Uh, my dad had it, my brother and my mom have both had to have um, suspicious spots removed. So I'm not the biggest fan of laying out and tanning in the summer because to be like honest, the sun terrifies me. And other like besides that, um, I also have tattoos that I don't want to ruin by uh, UV rays because it does make the ink spread out under the skin and it kind of pools out and that's when they get blurry and faded. So, um, and I, I could never do a self tanner like just like a straight up put it on once self tanner. It will never work for me. So I looked into this, and this is the uh, Jergens Natural Glow uh, Moisturizer. What it's supposed to do is just work as your daily moisturizer and very slowly um, give you some color. And I've been using it for a few days, and it's working really well. Um, I picked up the Fair to Medium one, and I will use this probably for, you know, three or four weeks and then move on to the medium to dark one and just curiosity see how dark it can actually get the color is so even like it's so easy to get on even like, and it's not orangey either like I don't look like Joe Camel or anything like that so um, these are really really good I'll do a full review on these once I get the full results and then I also picked up the face one in fair to medium too which is just facial moisturizer so and it's working well like I'm fairly even. I have a shadow right here, so it looks like I'm not, but I am, I promise. But I've been using that for three days, and I have noticed, like, a huge difference in color, but here's my problem. I have a, this is so embarrassing, I have a condition called hyperhidrosis, which is pretty much, I am incredibly sweaty, and, um, especially, this is gonna sound so weird, but if I take my socks off, my hands and feet will sweat so bad, and I have noticed it is uneven, um, right here, where the sweat pools up and on the tops of my toes and the sides of my feet because um, it sweats off the, the moisturizer before it has a chance to sit in, like sink into my skin. So it's not like taking in those areas. Which totally sucks. And um, I actually was looking this up online today. I'm, I've been looking into this like surgical procedure. It's nothing like it's minimally invasive that they go in through your rib cage and they just take out the section of nerve that makes this happen and then you're good so I've been looking into that probably by the end of the year I'll have that done um, because apparently it only affects like half percent to one percent of the population which I'm one of the lucky ones and it doesn't ever get better which is what I was always like oh you know it'll get better and no it won't no problem I did find this is the same uh, Jergens natural glow this is the foam I got this in medium because I didn't have it in the light. foam supposedly dries in two seconds so I have two seconds before I'll start sweating um, where with the lotion you have to take like five minutes and I don't have five minutes so for those areas um, the sides of my hands and the tops of my feet or tops of my toes like at the very ends and then the sides of my feet um, I'll use this foam which hopefully will work I have no idea if that's gonna work or not but I will let you guys know um, so I have this just for those problem areas that where it doesn't want to take that's my whole spiel on that I will definitely do a review on that for you guys summer and I've been getting a little bit darker I did pick up um, a darker color of the Revlon Photo Ready. The one I have been using was um, the very lightest color in ivory and I've been mixing it with my Dream Liquid Mousse because those are all orange. But I did pick up um, Nude, which is a little bit darker. I'll probably still be mixing it with the Dream Liquid Mousse. Um, but yeah, I have just that shade. Um, I'm actually glad I messed up with that shade because it's really dark. But I can mix it with all my other foundations so I don't have to buy like one whole new foundation. Uh, for the summer so picked up the uh, L'Oreal Linear Intense um, 
eyeliner, uh, liquid eyeliner. I have a couple liquid eyeliners, but this one dries glossy, and I've seen this used like in a lot of videos, looks like that with a felt tip. But I really, really like the glossy finish that I have. Everyday liner or anything. And the last two things are just Revlon lipstick. This one is in baby pink. It's just a really nice baby pink color. And I wanted to try one of the glosses because I have a couple of these lipsticks and I really, really like them. Um, but they just came out with the glosses. Well, not just. I'm a little behind. But um, I picked up this one in Papaya. And it's just a really great um, pinky coral color. And the wand is flat on both sides. If you haven't heard people talking about this, everyone's been freaking out about them. So I figured I'd try them. I went to Sephora and picked up this. If I can get it open. This is the uh, Laura Mercier, it's really gross on the front. It's the Laura Mercier um, Tightline Cake Eyeliner, and this is in Black Ebony. This is um, used, you, you wet your brush first, and then you dip it in there, and it's like specifically for tightlining your eyes. I'm just getting the color right between the lashes, and I am in love with this. This is going to be like my new everyday liner, because it darkens the lash line without actually having the line of liner and I really really like that look because it's a way to have black eyeliner without it looking way too intense so this is awesome and I'll probably um, do a video just on this and how I use it and how to use it so that is definitely going to be on the way yeah that's it and I'll talk to you guys later bye